friends and welcome to my channel if you're new or welcome back if you're back. Either way, thanks so much for tuning in today. Um, if you are new, my name is Rabbit and my pronouns are they, them. Sorry, I want to wear my glasses, but I'm worried they're giving a lot of glare. Either way, okay, hi. Um, so I've been wanting to like just put more effort into my clothes lately because I have so many fun clothes, but with like lockdown and stuff, I just kind of really got in the mode of wearing pajamas and t-shirts all the time every day to encourage myself um, to make use of my fun clothes and accessories and stuff more. I wanted to start like a little outfit of the day videos. So I don't know what this will really look like. I'll start with today's outfit. Um, I'm just going to work. I got unexpectedly called in, but it's a really short shift. It starts at four and goes till 8.30. Lately, the temperature at my work has been all sorts of weird. Like we never know if it's gonna be super hot or super cold. So I'm <laughs> wearing a lot of layers that are like pretty thin on the bottom and then I have a really cozy sweater in case it gets really cold. Makeup's super simple, just got like purple eyeshadow. I do like pretty much the same makeup every day, just different colors of the eyeshadow variation. Um, so yeah, purple eyeshadow. Got my giant clanky plastic skeleton hand earrings. I got these at Save On Foods a couple of years ago around Halloween and I love them. And then behind that, in one of my upper ear piercings, I have this like little vampire fang mouth. I'm wearing a bunch of necklaces, starting with this like black choker that has a bat charm on it. And then this DIY multi-charm, like kind of Halloween charm bracelet, but it's a necklace kind of situation. And then a moon and the skeleton hand and this kind of rosary style necklace that I made but instead of crosses and stuff it has a bat and a little tooth charm hanging off of it. For my enamel pins I'm wearing these ones that my brother actually got me for my birthday a couple years ago. One is a moon and the other one is like a little cat riding a broomstick. I think the artist is IVC Draws and I love the stuff. It's amazing. And then let's go look at the outfit. I might have to figure out a better um, situation for showing these outfits off. Um, but regardless, over top of everything, I have this really cozy thrifted sweater that I found, um, yeah, recently at the thrift store, and it's like so, so toasty. It was like a little over five bucks, and I love it. Okay, slightly better lighting maybe. Um, I have this super thin thrifted t-shirt that has like a sewn-in collar. Got it for like three or four dollars at the thrift store. I really like it because it's like ridiculously breathable and just like perfect for the summer because a lot of times wearing a collar shirt under a regular shirt is something that I love but it's not super conducive to being ridiculously hot in the summer. And then I'm wearing this skirt that is technically from Spirit Halloween but I got it at the thrift store and it's just like a black kind of skater skirt with this double ribbon and it has like almost like a cheerleader vibe? I don't know. It feels super super cutesy. And then because it still gets really cold I'm wearing black leggings under the skirt but I can take them off if the cooling is broken and um, it's swelteringly hot at work. And then I love wearing like one mismatch sock kind of situation. So these ones I got at the dollar store around Halloween a couple years ago. They have like these black and white cats and I really like them. And then over top of them I'm just wearing these leg warmers from AliExpress and these Doc Martens that are my everyday shoes. They are cracking so bad, I really need to get a new pair. Yeah, so it's, they're, it's been a second. And um, yeah, otherwise, off to work soon. And I will see you in the next clip for another different outfit, I hope. We'll see if this ends up being a thing. <laughs> Hey friends! It's like May 17th or something. I really wanted to film my outfit yesterday because I had, holy cow, um, the best experience ever. My boyfriend and I were out thrifting and I felt all confident. I was like wearing some of the new clothes and jewelry items that I'd made and stuff. And then the cashier, who I've seen a couple of times, they're like really cool and really like goth looking and just like super alternative and awesome. And they were like, oh my god, I love your outfit. And I was like, oh my god, I love yours. And we were talking and chatting and whatever. And we're gonna hang out. We're gonna be friends. Both of us are like, oh my god, we have no friends. Like, let's be friends. And it's so exciting! Um, so I invited them to the cat cafe we work at and hopefully we're gonna hang out and have such a fun time and I can't wait! Um, and they offered to help me um, complete uh, my in search of doll list. So, super cool. That's not what this video is about though. This video is about outfit of the day situation. Um, sorry, I'm just like very excited. So today, went to the dentist. That was fine. Got new braces back there. And later tonight, I have to go to a work meeting, but I have a bunch of hours to just chill around. So I decided to dress up in my cutesy clothes. Um, I also went to the dentist like this and the dentist lady was like talking all about my earrings. And she's like, oh, have you like done that before? Like that gives me nostalgia, like blah, 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 blah. It was very funny. Okay, so starting from head to toe. Have my hair in pigtails, just like teased up, really fun and big. And then I'm wearing 
these skeleton hand hair clips that I just made that are very like nostalgic for me. I think I had a pair when I was younger. They were like blood spattered and I gave them away ages ago and I think I got them from Claire's originally. So I DIY'd these and they make me very happy. For earrings, I have these massive Ouija planchette kind of situations. I made these out of some charms that I got on AliExpress. My makeup is a lot of fun. I've got like little stars and sparklies and moon. Um, I like to use these makeup stamps. I have this one from ColourPop. That's like not great, but it works. It's the moon one. And then I have a heart one and a star one from Milk. These ones are great, but they're pretty permanent and like very hard to get off. So if you like don't want it to stay on for very long, I would not recommend those. But if you do, they're amazing. Um, okay. And then just like super dark lipstick that I'll probably have to take off later because I'm going to be wearing a mask at my work. But Felt like I wanted to put some on to feel all cute at home. And then for my necklaces, I have this really basic choker that I got ages ago from AliExpress. This vampire charm necklace. This little possum head necklace that I found at the thrift store. This charm that I got printed at the pet store that has my cat's names on it. It says lemon and tuna. And then this uh, rosary style ne necklace with like star beads. And then on this thrifted corduroy overall dress sort of situation, I have a bunch of different enamel pins and stuff and buttons. This one that says cats rule and dogs are cool also. And I'll link the artist that makes them, but we also sell them at my work. They also make this. I think it's my cat is people and it's like this little angel kitty. I need to clean these pins. Sorry, they have fingerprints all over them. And then I found this at the thrift store and it says guardian angel of cats and I just put it on a safety pin and attached it to this um, Especially for when I work at the cat cafe. It helps me feel more um, Confident and being able to tell people off when they're like doing stuff. They're not supposed to I'm like hey don't pick up the cats Hey, don't touch the cats food stuff like that. Okay, and then I have this um, Button that I got at a thrift store that helps support animals and it's so freaking cute I think it's like someone's cat that they made and then this Pin. I think I actually gave to Cage, but I stole it. Um, and it's got this like little um, kitty with a skull on it. And then for when I'm outside, it's raining today, which I love. I went to school in British Columbia and I miss it so freaking much um, because the rain is like the best feeling ever for me. It just makes me feel so at home and so cozy and so happy. Um, so this is this uh, leather jacket that I have patched up and is nice for keeping toasty in the rain. I made all these patches myself with like screen printing and stuff and I have like a whole video about it. But then for when I'm inside, I have this like long sleeve shirt that I got from the thrift store. Um, it's really basic and I like to wear it a lot because it's very soft. And then yes, this dress is also from the thrift store. Super, super comfy. I had to um, slim it down a little bit to fit me better, um, just like so the edges shut. But I love it. My favorite thing about it is that it has this big pocket that I can put my phone in. The downside of it is that sometimes I forget and if I like have to bend down to pick something up or whatever, my phone falls out and it's a big panic. Okay. And then for bracelets, I have all these kind of candy style bracelets that I made out of like star beads and stuff. And then some studs and my childhood charm bracelet. And then for belts, I'm wearing two belts. I haven't done that since like high school, but I thought, why not bring it back? Um, and both of these belts are like from AliExpress or Wish or something like that. And one of them has like this leg garter that I've attached and then I've attached one of my extra chains too. So it's like this whole big jangly situation. I love to also like clip my keys on there. So it's all just like metal and jangly and it makes me happy. <laughs> For my footwear, I have these boots that are Demonia's and someone sold them to me on Facebook Marketplace for 40 bucks. Can you believe that? And they threw in an extra pair of shoes. It was like the most insane luckiest day and it was while I was having a really insane lucky like month of continuing to find amazing gothy shoes in my size on Facebook Marketplace from like between 30 and 50 bucks and I was just losing my mind. So yeah, when I found these, dude, original Demonia's. 40 bucks and then they threw in an extra pair of free shoes that were just like kind of winter boots. I, yeah, I love them. They're super comfy. Um, They're a little big for me, so I should be wearing some thicker socks when I go out later, but just for demonstration purposes, it's okay. Um, so yeah, I freaking love them and I feel super cute. And then I have one stripy stocking from a dollar store and then I'm just wearing these really thick leggings because I get cold really easily and it's raining today and I like to be toasty so these like fur lined leggings are underneath. Hopefully it'll be summer soon and I can like go back to just wearing like cool stockings and fishnets and stuff like that and not having to do like the f***ing Disney Channel shit of like leggings <laughs> under skirts. But we're Canadian, we do what we have to do. Alright, 
So that's today's outfit and makeup of the day. I hope you liked it, and I'll see you two seconds for you, a couple days for me. Bye! Hey friends, um, okay, so it is, I don't know, Monday something. Uh, it's Kate and I's day off. We went to the vet to do like a regular checkup for lemon this morning. Everything went super good. Um, and now we're gonna have like a little date and I'm super excited. We both have to pick up, oh, sorry, my hair. Um, we both have to pick up like different things for our crafts that we're currently doing. Um, Cage has been doing a lot of like insect um, taxidermy type stuff and I've been doing a lot of trying to repaint figurines. It's been really fun so we're hoping to find some of that stuff today. Um, today is makeup. I'm really excited about it. I was kind of like inspired by Dorian from Of Herbs and Altars because I've been watching a lot of his videos lately and he's so cool and his makeup is amazing and um, specifically one of the things that I love about his makeup looks is when he does these little like bats that I tried to imitate. This one is like okay. These ones don't look at them. It's fine. Um, but it's, you know, I was trying and I think it looks okay. And for a first try, I'm just hoping that it'll get better from here. And then my makeup is like kind of otherwise classic Halloween colored inspired. I wanted to do like purple on the top and green on the bottom for eyeshadow. For my hair, usual kind of curly rat nest. I need to wash it really bad, so don't mind it. And I did put some spiders silver spiders that I DIY'd to just like add to that spider nest, rat nest kind of look in there. Otherwise makeup, I wish I could wear lipstick, but um, Cage and I are going out and I'm one of those people that needs to wear a mask when I go out all the time. Very anxious otherwise. And I don't want it to be like all smudged inside. So ugh, this look would be so much better with like dark purple lipstick or something cool like that. But just imagine that I have it on. Okay. For earrings, I have this little coffin chain one that I DIY'd, this sword that I got uh, forever ago, and these dangly bats that I got at Claire's around Halloween and then kind of matching on the other side minus the bats. Four chokers. Got this one from AliExpress. I've got this kind of double layered necklace that I got at the thrift store. It just feels like very vintage fairy 1920s kind of situation. Um, I have this skeleton hand and then this one that's like kind of just like Mardi Gras beads that I put a little bat arm on. For my outfit underneath the big old jacket that I have DIY kind of goes down to like skirt length. So for my actual outfit, I am wearing this like pair of ripped fishnet tights as an undershirt and then this kind of dark green velvet tank top that I got at the thrift store that has like these laces on it. It's one of my favorites. I really, really like it. I have a bunch of bracelets and stuff, some that I DIY'd and some that are just from the thrift store. This one's from my mom. She gave it to me when I was 16 and I freaking love it. I've been wearing it a lot lately. Um, I'm wearing two belts. We love that for me. I have this one that I attached some random chains too, and this one that is from AliExpress. This one's from a thrift store, but the original brand is Baby Fat, and one of my favorite things about it is that it has these like little spooky cats um, in the chain links. I also wanted to add like a little poof because this outfit makes me feel kind of like a fairy, and I feel like a fairy would have like a little poof friend that they get to bring around, you know, so it's fun. And then this skirt is my freaking pride and joy. I love it so much. I can't believe I almost sold it on Depop a couple years ago. I'm so thankful that I didn't, but I found it at the thrift store. This beautiful purple and black and tulle and lacy and ribbons, and it's incredible, and I love it. And I feel like I never get to wear it, because um, I'm always like, oh, I have to wear it to go to an event or something. But F that, you can wear cool things for whatever and just make any day a special occasion. And I don't care if I get stared at or whatever. I feel like a cute goth fairy, and I will live that fantasy today. And um, it's helpful to have my boyfriend going out with me because he makes me feel a little more confident. For legwear, I have a pair of fishnets over ripped tights. And then on one leg, I have one stripy stocking. I freaking love the one leg sock look and then the other leg like fishnet tights look. I just think it feels very fairy and Alice in Wonderland and cute. And then these are my comfiest boots that are like platforms. So they're what I'm gonna be wearing today. And cause we've got to do lots of walking. So. That's today's outfit. Sorry, last minute edition, I had to clip this little dragon friend that I traded at a fair forever ago onto my belt because he just had to come on the adventure. Okay, now I feel properly accompanied. I hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you for another outfit of the day. Bye. Hey guys, so another day where I wish I could be wearing lipstick, but unfortunately that's just not the way the cards, cookies, 
roll, crumble, whatever it is. Um, so, hi, this is my outfit. And, okay, I think maybe earlier in this video I talked about meeting a new friend. I'm hanging out with them today! Oh, I can't wait. So exciting. Um, so this is my outfit for hanging out with my new friend. We're gonna go to my work. We're gonna visit the cats at the cat cafe. We're gonna go around on a walk and, like, visit all the record stores and, like, the cool stores that, like, are around where I live. And we're gonna drink coffee. And, oh, I can't wait. I wish I could cook some dinner, but my stove and my oven have just been, like, all messed up lately. And it's really sad because I, I really wanted to. Anyway, um, so for today's outfit, usual hair, messy, teased in a scrunchie. Makeup is a lot of fun. I did the bats again. Um, this time I think they turned out maybe a little bit better. And again, inspired by Dorian from Of Herbs and Alters, he has the bestest makeup ever and I wish I could just do it like a, a smidge as cool as he does. Um, but yeah, it's just my little tiny homage to him. And um, star, moon, little dots with eyeliner. Um, pretend I'm wearing like super dark lipstick and then um, I have this color that I made and I have layered over it this necklace that I made, this moon necklace and this Baphomet necklace and this other necklace that um, is like Mardi Gras beads with like a little bat charm that I stuck on it. Got a bunch of rings and bracelets over top of these um, kind of spiderweb gloves that I got from Spirit Halloween. My dress I got from the thrift store and it's like this gorgeous long black button down velvet dress, velvet velour, something like that. And my favorite thing about it, it has this slit in the middle, which kind of looks like a le leg side slit, depend like when you're walking. So it's very like, ooh, demure and ladylike, and then it's like, ha ha, legs. So I love it. Um, very fun. Um, I have one fishnet stripey tight on one leg, and one um, kind of just like rip stocking on the other leg. And of course, I'm wearing shorts underneath because we got to do that. And then for my boots, I'm wearing these amazing boots that I got on Facebook Marketplace. They have these massive buckles and they're just like the bestest and my friend is like super cool and gothy and I think they'll really appreciate my cool gothy shoes. When we met, they were actually wearing these shoes um, and I was like, oh my god, I have the same ones as you. And they were like, oh my god. And it was like super exciting. Um, so yeah, I can't wait. Get to hang out. New friend. <laughs> Yay. And um, yeah, so that's the outfit today and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hey guys, I'm about to pop off and pop out in like two seconds because I'm going to a tattoo convention. Ooh, I can't wait. It's super, super exciting. Uh, basically, my boyfriend's been a tattoo artist uh, since I've known him and I've never been to a convention, weirdly. Um, and this is my first one, so I'm really excited. Um, I'm hoping I'll be able to help out, but he says um, it's a little crowded and I probably won't be able to do too much. Um, so I just got dressed up real cute so I can show up and be like, hi, I'm here and I'm cute. Um, and, and then flounce around and flounce out. Um, I wish I wish, wish, wish I could have gotten a tattoo there. I can't get any new tattoos or piercings for the next two months. But it's okay, because I have all my life for that. Regardless, that's not what this is about. This is about today's outfit. Um, so I work today, my makeup's a little messy. I just like layered on some extra stuff over what I was wearing and then put on what I thought was like kind of a cute outfit and I figured I'd like show it off before I go. Um, so usual rat's nest of hair that, oh my lord, do I need to re-dye it and also uh, bleach my roots, but regardless, got a red scrunchie with like little hearts in it and I got it at the thrift store. For my earrings, I have these giant bat ones that are technically my boyfriend's, but I stole them. And these bat ones that I made, and then, of course, these, like, bat makeup things. I keep <laughs> wearing them in my, like, special occasion outfits, um, and I, I, I don't know, I love it. I, I think um, they, they're cute and, and it's fun. Um, makeup is really basic. I wish it was red and black, but it was purple and black because I started the day with purple eyeshadow. Bunch of necklaces. Got this big choker, got this little moon, got this red stone one that I made, and this other kind of rosary style one that I made that has this big fake bird skull on it. It's kind of fun. When I go out, most of my masks are pastel. This is my only black mask, funny enough, that still works. Uh, so gonna be like cute with my like cat mask. This is the jacket that I'm wearing out. I customized this one. And this is my everyday purse. So this is my very fun and colorful um, going out kind of outerwear outfit situation. And then if I don't have the jacket on, yes, I have this red velvet dress that I found at the thrift store. It's originally from Shine or Shane or whatever, and I don't ever buy stuff directly from them, but I have found a couple of solid pieces from them from the thrift stores like this. I, I don't mind it, but I just um don't really want to support them personally. Then I have this big old belt that I got at the thrift store, and then I layered it over this other belt that just has like mess, tons of buckles, um, and it also has this attached leg strap that I put on this. And then on this knee, I put a kind of like a knee choker, garter, it's not a knee choker, um, but yeah, it's spiky and it's a lot of fun. 
Bye tuned. And my boots today, um, these I got at the thrift store a couple years ago and I love them. They're a size too small for me, so I've been like slowly stretching them out. And they're finally at a size that I that works for me. But yeah, they were $15 and they were demonias and I was like, whatever, I will do anything that I can to make them fit. And yeah, they're super cute. They're like red plaid and I can't believe I found them at the thrift store. I swear to God, I have the best freaking like ever for finding secondhand demonias. So that's the outfit for today. First ever convention. Um, they're not like convention, but first ever tattoo convention for me. And um, yeah, I'm excited to see my boyfriend and I hope it goes well. And I'll talk to you guys in the next outfit of the day. Bye. Hey guys, just popping in really quick for an outfit check before I go out. I'm having an impromptu date with my boyfriend. Um, I had a blood appointment today. He had a dentist appointment today. And I'm going to pick him up from the appointment. We're going to go on a little um, impromptu date in this really cute park. And there's like all these lilacs around. So I just wanted to film my outfit really quick um, before I go. So I have these little frogs in my hair. They are technically, I think, meant for your garden. But I found them at the dollar store. And the dollar store is my favorite place to get um, like little hair clippies like this. Like you can get mushrooms, frogs, all sorts of stuff like that. And I just think they're so cute little like foam guys. I also put my hair in pigtails, which is like a just like cute fun look. For ear I've got this big like heart cross bird skull situation that I got from AliExpress I think and this old sword that kind of from far away looks like a cross but it's definitely a sword and then for necklaces I've got a ton of layers this big this one's like my favorite I've been wearing it so often my like double ring with the spike choker and then underneath that this one that I made with and I have this that's from the thrift store that I just like layered this little Baphomet necklace skeleton hand and this one with like a bat on it for the outfit. I just threw a cardigan on. I have my leather jacket that I'll probably wear when we go out because it's like a smidge chilly. Um, if I take that off, I've just got this like super cute velvet dress. I found it at the thrift store and I have been super um, loving it lately. I have a lot of black velvet dresses or just like general velvet dresses. They're kind of one of my favorite outfit pieces and I tend to get really lucky finding a lot of them at the thrift store. And this one I just like couldn't pass up. I find it super super cute. The back is like very very open. So it'll be a little chilly which is why I'm happy I have the cardigan. I also got like a ton of rings and these spiderweb hand warmers that I freaking love. I got them in Spirit Halloween. This purse is also from Spirit Halloween. This vibe with like the cat and the frogs and stuff. I just felt like it was like a little witchy. So I wanted to kind of go into that feel of like a witch and they're familiar sort of thing. Um, I have two layered belts as I have been want to do lately. And let me show you my shoes. So that's the outfit. I'm feeling pretty cute. Little fun date outfit. And it's just gonna be like fun, casual, chill out, hang out with my boy. So um, I'll see you guys later cause I gotta rush off and pick him up. Okay, bye. Hey guys, so it's like June 8th, I think, something like that, and it's the perfect rainiest weather, which I am obsessed with. I really sometimes miss being in BC and like the fact that it was like rainy and mossy and wonderful all the freaking time, and finally, 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 we got some rain up here. Um, so it is Kate, it is Tuesday, and Tuesday is Cage and I's day off, so we are going to go to a cemetery that I drove by recently and would really love to check out. Seems really, really beautiful and peaceful. We're gonna have a nice little picnic there. Then later tonight, Cage has a shop dinner and I'm gonna go with him um, just for the tattoo shop to celebrate the convention that they all did. So I'm really excited for them and I'm excited to go to the dinner. They have a new artist, which I'm like super, super excited to meet. And yeah, so today's outfit is basically, um, yeah, ignore the fact that I have to dye my hair really bad. I washed it last night, so and it always looks bad after I wash it, so ignore my hair, but uh, it's in its usual style. I'm back on my bat thing and uh, star, moons, dots, etc. This is a choker that I DIY'd. Then I'm wearing this kind of bat um, poncho that I made. I originally didn't think I would ever wear it out, so I'm trying that today and hopefully I can like feel confident and nice and enjoy myself in it. It's pretty cold, so I'm excited to be like cozy in the sky. And then I'm wearing this like long black velvet dress that I've just been like wearing the F out of lately. I just really, really like it. It's a great staple, especially for these kind of like colder days. Um, so I'm wearing a ton of necklaces. So starting with like the lacy choker and then I have um, this one that's just like a bunch of chains that just like make a great layering piece I found at the thrift store. This is a little skeleton hand charm that I just like stuck on a chain and my DIY'd bat rosary with like the plastic star charms. I have this fake 
corset type thing um, that I got online a long time ago and this belt that I just like stuck underneath there um, to add a little bit of layer, texture, dimension, etc. This, the thing that I love about this dress, I think I already mentioned, but it has like this awesome leg slit so you can like see all the like cool stripey stockings, which today I'm wearing purple ones. And then my favorite Demonias, um, I got these back when I was in university and they're my favorite ones. They're the comfiest and they fit with me really well and they're just like really lovely. So <laughs> they've been my kind of go-to footwear lately. So that's today's outfit. I hope um, the day goes well. Wish me luck and um, see you in the next one. As usual, imagine this with black lipstick or dark lipstick because I would be wearing it with all my outfits, but, regard but unfortunately I'm going out. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I'm wearing these little gloves that I DIY'd out of just like some scrap lace and scrap velvet and some grommets and a ton of rings as usual because I'm becoming a ring person again, especially when I'm going out since I don't have to wash my hands all the time like when I'm at work. Anyway, um, see you later. Hey guys, so it's still the same day and I'm just gonna go out again basically. Um, I'm about to go out to um, dinner with Cage's tattoo shop, but I figured I'd show you guys because I just changed the outfit a little bit. Um, still got the hair that I don't really love the style of, but whatever, um, up. But I've added these two little frog friends because I'm gonna meet some new people that I'm a little bit anxious about. Or not like because they're weird or anything, but just because I'm always anxious when I have to meet new people. Um, so I thought that bringing some little friends with me would help calm me down, so. And then I'm wearing this lace cape that I made, and I'm so happy that it's finally springtime and it ended up being a lot nicer out today than I thought it would be. Um, so I'm just like really pleased that I can finally wear it and like kind of have bare skin underneath it so you can see it because when I tend to wear it under like a long sleeve black dress or shirt, you can't really see it, but when you wear it under like bare skin, you tend to be able to see it, which is nice. And then I have these arm warmers that I just got from the dollar store a couple of Halloweens ago. And I'm wearing this like green camisole that I tend to wear a lot and um, I got it in the lingerie section of the thrift store a couple years ago and it's just been super helpful. My favorite choker, my giant snake earrings, um, this fairy cameo necklace that I found at the thrift store that I kind of want to repaint but I also kind of love it as is. I'm still wearing this layered necklace, I never took it off this morning, and I've changed out um, for this giant labradorite piece that one of my exes made me. He actually made it before we started dating and that's when I got it, but very shiny and I love Labrador, right? And then I have this uh, belt that is definitely one of my favorite belts with like little cats and I added a little silver acrylic lightweight chain to it. And then I have this long velvet skirt that is just from the thrift store. Still wearing my trusty Demonia boots. They are my favorite for long days such as this. Um, so yes, I definitely need to like repaint my nails and find the rings that I took off earlier today. <laughs> but that's the outfit for this evening. Still got my makeup even though it looks a little messy. And um, yes, this is the look. Kind of trying to be like a little bit more fancy, even though I think we're just going to like somewhere pretty casual. But I never get to go out, so I figure I might as well get the occasions that I do get to go out to dress up, even if it's just going to get Mexican food. So <laughs> it'll be good meeting new people and uh, wish me luck. Bye. Hello. Um, I dyed my hair again. Can you tell? It, okay. <laughs> the thing that I was going for was like looking like an autumn leaf. Um, it's supposed to be like oranges and reds and yellows. Um, the yellow like did not show up except for like in one patch where it was bleached. And like also I'm trying to grow out these things now, but they look like stupid little old man hair right now, which is whatever. Um, the rest of it, frick, it didn't turn out quite like I wanted it to the first time. It turned out really red. Um, I saw my dad and he was like, oh, you look like Fifth Element. I was like, this is not what I'm going for. I was going for Autumn Leaf. And then today I went to work. My boss was like, oh, it looks like the Little Mermaid. And I was like, again, not what I was going for. Regardless, next time I will try to put more green in it and hopefully it'll look a little better. Anyway, for today's outfit, I had work today and, and basically I won a free pre-screening to Buzz Lightyear the movie because of where I work and the fact that there was like a promotional thing and there was like staff draw and I got picked <laughs> as one of the people that gets free tickets so I get to go see that tonight which is fun. I, I've never really been into Toy Story or Disney um, so it'll be a new experience for me um, but I get to go and eat sushi with Cage beforehand so I'm really excited about that. So I got dressed up all cute or what my definition of cute is. Um, I have my new red hair in pigtails. I put, um, I just had like regular makeup on and then I put a moon under the side and a star under the side. This lipstick is gonna come off 
in a minute. I just wanted to put it on to complete this outfit for you guys because I'm sick of telling you. Just imagine I'm wearing dark lipstick. Favorite choker with this moonlit necklace that I've been wearing a lot and this um, layered kind of thrifted necklace and this plastic beaded thing with this bat charm on it. Lots of rings from places such as the thrift store and my mom. Um, this shirt that I've made um, and I decided to just remove the ribbons um, from it for now until I find like a ribbon or that matches the color of the bat on it. I'm using my little Halloween cat purse because I feel like the purple and red combination of hair and clothes gives kind of like a Halloween vibe and this like helps tie it in together. It also has this little pumpkin bag that like is actually a reusable bag, but I like it because it's just like a little jack-o'-lantern guy. Um, I'm wearing this very plain basic skirt that I found at the thrift store, but it's technically from Garage. And, um, and then underneath I've got a layer of ripped stockings with a layer of ripped fishnets. And over top of that I have these stripy um, black and purple socks that I got from like the dollar store or something. And they're pretty warm, which is nice, um, especially because it's a little bit chilly out. And I also have this knee spiky, which I think is really cute. And today I'm wearing these boots that I actually got for free on Facebook Marketplace, which was really fun, when I bought these other boots from this person. They were so nice, and they have like a little bit of a heel. Normally I prefer platforms, not like heel ones, but they're super, super toasty and warm and fuzzy and kind of make me feel like a doll in a way. So um, yeah, very excited about that. I'm off to have a little dinner and a movie with my babe. So wish me luck. <laughs> kind of wish it was like something a little more our style, but you know what? Free tickets, I'll take it. Why not, right? Um, so yeah, have a good one and bye for now.